This is my redo review on K39. So it's about this uh, girl who's a uh, caseworker and been doing this uh, case on the his parents that have been uh, trying to kill their daughter and she stops them along with her friends only to be revealed that the girl is actually a demon from hell. And I don't know where my glasses are. I can't remember. Hang on. Let's see. There they are. They found them. This side. Let me get them on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this girl takes is taken in by this girl who is a case worker or something worker. Anyway, uh, uh the job is like she health for unfit parents who um, works cases for us and is, I can't remember what her name is. So she takes this demon child in and uh, yes and uh, Demon child starts getting, he's, she starts getting scared of the demon child and think there's something seriously wrong with her because she told a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, she also starts to become scared of the demon ch child once she finds out she's after talking to the parents, her, her she's actually a demon from hell. Yes, listen to the parents who tried to cook her in the oven. Smart, huh? So anyway, The demon child kills off the parents that try to kill her. Yeah, um, so I say demon child, she's literally a demon and from hell. It sounds a little far-fetched even hearing from me. So anyway, she wants, she decides to drive her new mother crazy by by uh, by screwing with her, not torturing her, screwing with her mind. And then so she, she's like all oh, scared. <clears throat> what do you want from me? <laughs> They lost you like, what do you want from me? No, no. And she actually says, I, I want whatever I want. If I want ice cream, you have to get it for me. If I want to stay up late past my bedtime, you have to give it to me. And she's all coughing and shaking. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> She didn't say anything, but she said she wants because she wants to be spoiled like a she wants to be spoiled basically. And so she spoils her, he starts spoiling her. And uh but the mm, some reason she's torn finds 
It's torture because the mother fights this torture because, well, she's a demon from hell. Um, you know, she hasn't really done anything. Sure, she's killed three people, but, uh, but like two or three people, but I, other than that, she, well, she hasn't really done anything. Do you, you just, I don't know, just try laying down some ground so like no more killing, but I never went out of this. And, uh, so, and when she gets, when, uh, when she gets mad at the demon child, she, she the demon child gets mad at her and yells at her, and she says, Don't yell at me. And she, and she, and, uh, she, um, apologizes for uh, her behavior. She says, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Uh, please let me in. I locked the door. I'll put you here for you. <laughs> sounds very cute. This this child sounds like a cute child I wanted to adopt her. <laughs> because if I adopted her, I would ask, I would lay down some ground rules like no killing people. And spoiled her so much the attention she wants to go get. I she hasn't really done anything bad as this is she's just cranky because she's wants more, more attention from her new mother. Uh that's not really evil, that's just cute. <laughs> <laughs> So, she breaks into the room and breaks the door down and and uh, stabs the knife on the floor because she calmed down and she says, and she says, "Why are you doing this, Adini? Hello, silly. <laughs> what are you doing there? You silly pumpkin under there. You silly pumpkin head. You want me to come out and kill it? Are you going to come out, or are you going to come into you? And it's so cute. <laughs> and the the new mother, which is the and also the demon child, are the but the constant reminds on their relationship in the film." And the release, the the two best things about this film, and uh, so she comes down, comes over under the bed with her, and then she says, "What do you want from me? I want you to give me love." <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Like my brother parents didn't give me, <laughs> and this thing is adorable. It's the most adorable kid in cinema. You just want to. You'll grab her by the cheese and squeeze her and, and hug her. It's so adorable, this thing. So anyway, she tries drugging her. Eventually she does drug her. Without any confliction of trying to kill her. And... You know, she was, she drugs her tea, uh, the mother drugs her tea by putting her to sleep. Mm. 
And, um, yeah, for the final act, uh, she doesn't die from the fire. She dies from a car accident. And the monks gave him the car accident after a little after she tries messing with her mother's head and um So, yeah, um, the child dies. And the mother lives. And then the adorable theme song start playing. Huh? It's like, dun, 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 dun. I see ten people, two friends, ding, 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 ding. It's the theme song to the film is of K thirty nine. Play the theme song is it's kind of uh it has a cute uh melody to it. It sounds kinda of cute actually, <laughs> like this movie is cute, yes. <clears throat> I highly recommend this film. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's one of the better horror films I have seen. Now, I want to talk to mention the five or six best horror films or four best horror films. I don't know. I didn't count them. It, chapter, it, 2017, it, K39, it, chapter two, Jennifer's Boy. At least I thought there was like five or four or six. Oh, and also Trick or Treat five. And, um, should I just say the first one that came to mind? I should probably say the first one's on the video, right? Uh, Rob Zombie's Howling. Rob Zombie's Howling 2. That's 6. Uh,. So that's my pick for the six best horror films of all time. And number seven is Monster House. <laughs> 